as well as a call to action by Fortune 500 CEO. Honeywell Chief Executive David Cody is urging his peers to take a stand, speak up and talk to politicians about the national debt. Speak your mind. He says without resolution, companies will hold back from hiring, from investments, and it could sow the seeds for the next financial crisis. Take a look. The problem can be addressed in one of two ways. The first is proactively and thoughtfully, the way a great nation does, meaning go speak to politicians, <clears throat> go make some noise. The second is to wait until the bond market okay, forces but us is to this guy it. read history? It's Has democracy. this guy read history? It's he... ugly. We have to have a crisis before we get anything okay, going, right? Okay, but this is exactly what Lisa Shallot and Ian Bremmer say in their G Zero report, which we've talked a lot about. The leadership is going to come from the corporates, not from the governments. If they I would suggest the, the leadership's going to come from the market. Look at the 10 year yield, 1.4792. What can Mr. Cody finance at with Honeywell? Oh, plenty. <laughs> like six beeps over LIBOR. Plenty, plenty. And especially since Honeywell is such a capital intensive, in, you know, a capital intensive company in a capital right. intensive industry. Well, you mentioned LIBOR. That, I want to bring in my morning Russ Reed. It comes from Jonathan Weil, Bloomberg View columnist. He's writing about LIBOR and he gives, as always, a pretty juicy look into specifically the relationship between the banks and the regulators here. He says his takeaway, the lesson that hopefully has been learned from all of this, if you ever think someone in business is telling you to lie, ask that person to put it in writing. I highly recommend this so you can look at not just the relationship between the Bank of England and Barclays. He looks at some American examples as well, going back to AIG. But to spin this forward here, we're finally starting to get some estimates for yes. how much this is going to cost the banks. The Financial Times quoting Morgan Stanley is Big $22 number. billion dollars for right. 12 banks, including all sorts of penalties and legislation. You can expect Jamie Dimon to probably get questioned on this in the two hours. Well, he's he's got to be, be pinned to a number like $22 billion, though.